making your own all-wheel drive Mark 1 just became thousand times more easy and let me tell you why. So this company GDF Autofab just made these brackets to make your uh, all-wheel drive subframe in the rear fit to your Mark 1 Golf like bolt-on. So what they've done is they've taken making like a hybrid mount which bolts into the stock Mark 1 Golf two bolts in the rear and fabricated like a bracket which on the other side fits this Golf 2 Synchro or Golf 3 Synchro rear subframe. This makes everything a lot easier if you're going to build like all-wheel drive Mark 1. So this is this is the this is the original like Golf 2 Rally or Golf 2 Synchro bracket. This goes underneath the car this way, this side up, underneath the car in an angle. And the subframe mounts here on one of the sides and the same on the other side. And then you have this to hold the kind of the, the bushing in place. And this is how it's the Golf 2 or Golf 3 mounts are. The, the Golf 2 mounts are like just two two bolts, but the Golf 2 and 3 have three bolts. Is these three here. One here, two at the top. And the one at the bottom is only for this mounting bracket for the bushings. On my car, I made this same type of bracket which GDF Autofab has made. Only theirs look like properly, professionally built. Mine is built in the garage by a guy that learned how to weld while building an all-wheel drive Mark 1. I couldn't weld and you can argue I still can't weld. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna show you how I made this and I'm gonna yeah, so you can see how kind of my concept of it is compare and then you can compare it to uh, GDF uh, how they made it and I haven't seen them the mounts in uh, but I've only, like I haven't seen them in real life. I've only seen pictures of them. And I talked to a guy on Instagram, which I saw had bought these mounts for his all-wheel drive project car. So let me... These are my mounts. I've made this. This is the same concept as GDF has made. I made them uh, by cutting and welding this bracket together myself. And you see, I've used the stock bolt for the Mark 1, the stock uh, subframe for the rear. So there's one bolt here, and it's difficult to see, but there's one bolt in the rear also. Two bolts. So what I did was I me measured uh, all the... I drew a sketch by measuring the Golf 2 bracket. And then I measured the Mark 1 bracket and then like made like a hybrid. It's not really rocket science, but to, to be able to buy this, I think will make a lot of people, hopefully it will make a lot of people consider the all-wheel drive uh, build because we can never get too many of these. I think it's good that somebody finally did it. Uh, this should be done 10, 15 years ago, in my opinion. But yeah, so I don't know the quality of this. It looks like pretty solid and um, the price is, just give me a moment, from this guy who already bought a set. Uh, the price is like uh, 650 euros. So it's not given away, but you get like professional parts and the only thing you need to do is is to make the mount for the rear in the differential. This is the easy part when it comes to mounting the subframe. And I'm gonna show you this also. This is the bracket for the rear of the Mark IV differential. Um, you need something to hold up the rear of the diff to the chassis. Uh, like the Golf 2 Rally has or the Golf 2 Synchro or Golf 3 Synchro. It has some kind of mount from the differential and subframe up to the rear of the chassis. So you need to make like this. You, you don't have to make it like I did, um, like, but you will need something. So I will leave a link to their Instagram 
Uh, I haven't talked to any, like this is not sponsored, this is not nothing. I don't know these people, but from the Instagram, they do incredibly cool work. So either way, if you don't consider are not uh, even going to consider buying this, you can follow them on Instagram and you can see like a lot of cool projects. Uh, at least so like they have a really good project on the Mark 1 all-wheel drive which are currently being built. And I guess also like one last note, I guess this mount will, you will be able to use this also on the Scirocco and the Jetta Mark 1. And yeah, not the caddy, but maybe someone will make like an all-wheel drive mount in the future on the, for the caddy Mark 1. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, till next time, bye.